turno de noche, the Spanish word for night shift. And good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. The sun is out, summer's in full swing, and Elise and baby Moses are doing great. But I thought I'd step out of the house to explain a couple of things. So I've been living here in Linares, Chile for almost three years now. And since starting this YouTube channel, I've gotten a lot of people interested in visiting Linares, Chile, which is totally awesome and I feel super blessed in having visitors come to visit me here. But Every time that they come to visit, we go and see the Laguna de Maule, we see the rivers, we see the inverted waterfalls, and a bunch of other really, really cool stuff that's all around here in Linares. And between those awesome trips and beautiful drone shots, there are some really important conversations that we have in the car or going to buy food. And I don't know why I haven't done this video yet, but I wanted to dive into the five most important things that I tell a new visitor coming to Chile. So let's just dive into it. The first piece of information is probably the most important piece of information in that along the sides of the streets here in Chile, you're going to find this kind of a grill. Grills in the States typically have a top to them, but here in Chile, they don't really have a top. And usually they cook a lot of meat on them, but also you can find this delicious bread. You can put cheese on it, you can put avocado on it. It is so good and it's called a churrasca. Also, you've got to get a hot dog. Hot dogs here are so much better. They're called completos and they've got so much more than just ketchup and mustard on top of them. But my first piece of advice, try some bread here in Chile. It is absolutely delicious. Mm. So my second and third tips have to do with this store right back here. It's called Leader in South America, but in the United States it's called Walmart. But we go here quite a bit because it's the bigger store here in Linares that has everything that you need in one place. Anyways, inside of this store you need to know two things. One, fruits and veggies. When you go to the fruits and veggies part and you pick out what you want, you have to weigh it and print out a little receipt and put it on the bag or on the fruits and veggies that you want to purchase before getting to the cash register. I've made this mistake so many times that I forgot to go and weigh my things and then I get to the cash register and I have to do it all again. The next piece of advice is after that cash register, there's somebody that's bagging all of your stuff and they're working for free. Well, they're working for tips. So you want to give them a tip that you think is appropriate for begging your stuff. Typically I give them maybe 300 pesos on average for begging all of my stuff. And I come here a lot so I feel like they're making a good amount of money off of me. Okay. Side note, look how big these leaves are. They are massive. And my fourth tip or trick is probably the most useful tip or trick that I could give you today. And that is how to use your cell phone that you're using right now in the country that you're from here in Chile. And a couple of months ago, Chile said that you have to register your phones here in Chile before you can use them here. So after you're done registering your phone, the link is right below, and you get here to Chile, you go to a corner store, like this one right back here. And a lot of them have these little chips for Walm, for Claro, for Movistar, for all these different phone companies that are useful here in Chile. You can also just go directly to one of the phone companies and get a little chip, replace your chip that you're using in your country right now, put it in, and then just get a rechargeable chip so that when you run out, just put a little bit more money on the card. And you do that in any of these corner stores. Look, there's a corner store here. It's not open. Don't worry about it. There's another corner store right back there that you can go to as well. There's another corner store one block that way. There are corner stores all over the place here in Chile that you can replace that, that saldo, that uh, account with. So that's my probably biggest tip, but I have one more. 
So my last tip for you is something that I don't think about very often, but well, I feel like this is going to be a help for a lot of you coming to visit Chile. In that public restrooms here, a lot of them, not all of them, you have to pay. And also, a lot of them, not all of them, you're gonna have to bring your own toilet paper. So typically, we bring toilet paper wherever we go, and I know this is a weird thing to talk about, but I feel like it's going to help some of you. Bring toilet paper wherever you go, because you never know if the bathroom's going to have it here in Chile. In the United States, there go the dogs. In the United States, all the public restrooms are free. You can go to the mall, you can go all these places. Here too, the malls, they typically have public restrooms that are going to have this. There are a lot of places that do, but there are a lot of places that don't. In the States, I would say all of them do. So this might be a little bit different for some of you traveling from other countries who have never been here before. So take it from me, bring toilet paper wherever you go here in Chile. It's a generalization, I know, but I feel like it's gonna help. But I hope that you enjoyed the video for today, and if you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. If you are planning a trip here to Chile, 100% recommend it. It's such a beautiful place. Try and come in our summer months, which is December, January, February. And if you're looking for a good deal and you have the time, March is my favorite time to travel because it's so much cheaper and it's still so beautiful without the crowds of summer vacation. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time for another adventure. Look at this beautiful sunset though. It's going on right back there. Oh my goodness, I love Chile. But we'll see you guys next time. But for now, ciao Pascal.